I would say they have a very high degree of order, extremely high degree of order. This was shown not long ago by a, a group of chemists at the Berkeley, in Berkeley in California. They showed that by photosynthesis, where the photo, photons are used for getting energy, the coherence is extremely high. So coherence means that the photons can be superposed, that the message which is submitted by the photons gets very, very clear. For instance, when we speak together, it may be the lower the noise is, the more silent we are, the better we understand each other. So actually this may, is probably a very important because why biophotons actually are so special if they are everywhere? Uh, for example, uh, what uh, does distinct them from a heat? Uh, which is also electromagnetic radiation and can be radiated from all living organisms? Yes, heat is uh, the waste of electromagnetic fields. But photons, biophotons, are very distinct signals. Heat has a very low degree of coherence. Noise. But if these photons have a de high degree of coherence, they can work as submitters of information. The lower the noise is, the lower the intensity is, the better is the chance that you can submit the information with a very high efficiency. For instance, not long ago, American physicists and chemists showed that during the photosynthesis, the photons which are coming from the sun are taken up with an extraordinary high degree of coherence which allows them that only a few percent are transmitted into heat. They have a very high efficiency. And the same happens when you transmit information. You have to have a very high efficiency in order to have a clean understanding of what happens. The high degree of coherence of the biophotons in living organisms is related to the hundreds of thousands of processes that take place in such a perfect and marvelous way within every cell during every second of life. So let's get into it more deeply. Actually, um, how can biophotons send encoded message or, or, or that information communicating between biological cells and uh, has this message to be delivered really with photons, with speed of light? Yes, uh, but uh, as I told, the biological system has a much higher capacity of doing that, that we can do it technically. For instance, the coherence time of the best laser is about a tenth of a second. But the coherence time of biological system is at least in the order of days or even weeks. Amazing. So you have a very, very high degree of coherence and this allows the biological system to communicate with the highest possible clearness which is able. The relay of information occurs so rapidly it can only be possible at the speed of light. Any other means of information transmission including biomolecules, chemical messengers and so forth would be too slow to guarantee the integrity of the organism. Dr. Pop believes that the simple calculation shows that light or some electromagnetic action operating at the speed of light must be involved in the highly organized processes of living organisms. So for instance these hundred thousand reactions which happen in one cell per second they are controlled, they are regulated by photons and then it has to be very, uh, very accurate at what time and what place is a photon uh, transmitted. And the information which we call about is uh, created by the field, by the electromagnetic field behind. And this field uh, uh, is able to produce a pattern and always if you have a spatial dynamical pattern, so it's not only a pattern in the 
in the locality, it is also a pattern of time, this spatial dynamical pattern provides the information of a cell and it tells a cell what it has to do at what time and what place. So basically the predictability of the pattern and the stability of the pattern is the signature of coherence of the exactly. light. And uh, this 20 few thousand of reaction requires speed of light? Yes. It is important, for instance, such a reactance. reaction happens in the following way. The molecule takes up the photon, this takes a nanosecond. And after this nanosecond, the photon is not thermalized, it, is not, it doesn't produce heat, it is not transferred into heat, but it is given back to the field and is available for the next reaction. So you, 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 do, you don't need 100,000 photons in order to trigger these reactions. With one photon, one which is, you, 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 can, you can trigger 100,000 100, or just an autocatalytical messenger for the reaction.